Today I'm going to be doing a comparison between two budget SSD options. One of these guys, a move speed drive, is a no-name brand from Amazon that I got, and the other one is a Samsung OEM drive that I got from eBay. Both of these are about the same cost, form factor, and relatively similar in terms of specifications. Both of these are TLC drives with an SOC write cache and DRAM as well. And both of these seem like pretty reasonable options, and today I'm going to take a closer look at each of the drives and do a comparison and see what makes much more sense if your goal is to do a cheaper drive for a new system. Let's take a closer look at each drive first. So taking a first look at the move speed drive, I got this guy on Amazon for about $32 a little bit ago, and unfortunately its page on Amazon seems to be gone now, it seems to be taken down or changed, which kind of worries me when it comes to these no-name drives that the companies kind of change, products come and go, there's no public reviews on this drive, or much other info which worries me as a buyer when it comes to things like warranty and support in the future, and even being able to recommend it because you can't buy this anymore. But there is similar drives from other resellers that probably a lot of these rules I'm talking about will apply to. I also talked about this drive in my video of the cheap SSD comparison where I had another SATA SSD I looked at, and during that video I did some research on it, and this seems to be very similar to a Micron 2200 drive, with what looks like an identical PCB but its specs were rated differently, which makes me think that they derated it or something, or potentially it wasn't up to snuff to be the full OEM drive, so Micron sells it as something else and then it gets rebranded. I'm not sure exactly what happens, and unfortunately there's basically no other info on the internet about this drive. On the other hand, this is a Samsung PM981A. This is an OEM drive that's not intended for people like me or you probably to buy, but for large companies like Dell, HP, Lenovo, and others and then this drive would be integrated into like a laptop or desktop and sold as a whole computer, not as an individual drive. And because of the way they intend to sell this, there's not a lot of info about this drive on the internet out there either. There's quite a good review by Anantech out there which shows quite a bit of info in this drive, and this drive was released in 2017, so it's nearly five years old now. And the other thing is, this is based off a similar controller and architecture to what's used in the 960 EVO, which at its time was one of the higher end of the M.2 NVMe consumer grade drives out there. So that's looking good when it comes to performance on this drive. And I'd say the biggest selling point on this drive is the fact that it's a Samsung drive, which is probably one of the most well-known names in the SSD industry and known for making pretty darn reliable, high quality drives. One worry about buying these used drives on eBay is you don't know what condition you're gonna get. I bought it from a pretty high ranked seller with quite a few sales of this drive on eBay and it came in about three days and worked fine without issue. I looked at the smart data and the drive appeared to be pretty low usage. So I only had a handful of hours and I think less than a terabyte of writes total on this drive when I got it. So it looks like it's an almost new drive. And my best guess of what happened is someone in IT bought like a lot of laptops or desktops. They got it with these drives, but it was either cheaper or easier or for some reason they decided to replace the boot drives in the system with something else and flip these on eBay. And I've done that personally in my IT work, so, I'm get, so that doesn't seem like an unlikely explanation of what was happening here. They could have possibly faked the smart data, but from all the performance and info I've seen, it looks like that's likely the way. But one issue is you don't know how the drive is. I got lucky in this case and got an almost new drive, but you could have also gotten a four-year-old drive that was used pretty hard and might be almost all out of rights in, your, in this case. And unfortunately, most sellers on eBay and stuff, you don't get a long-term warranty. These drives are probably out of warranty from Samsung or have no warranty as you should go through your seller of the system, not Samsung for the warranty. Now that I've gone over some of the specifics of these drives, let's kind of take a look at a comparison of some different attributes of each of these drives. So first thing is kind of warranty and support. And I'd say both of these do pretty bad here. They both have kind of the eBay or Amazon seller um, protection. But other than that, I wouldn't trust any of these to get replaced by the manufacturer. The fact that this guy isn't even for sale by its manufacturer before and it's a pretty small no-name brand gives me a pretty low confidence that this guy would actually get replaced under warranty. And the Samsung drive, I'm guessing is an OEM drive and is either out of warranty by now or came with no warranty as it was, in, as it was intended to be sold in an OEM system, not as an individual part which really is unfortunate on both of these cases that I would not guess either would be replaced under warranty. I guess the good side is they're $30 drives, so it's almost not even worth it to warranty these as the shipping's probably gonna be almost as much as the drive's worth, 
when you need to warranty it, but it's an unfortunate situation with any low-end drive. You probably won't get it swapped under warranty. Another aspect of these drives to compare is just how they worked. And from my experience, both worked great. Both booted Windows and ran Windows without any issues. I didn't have any hiccups, performance problems, crashes, freezes, anything like that. They both worked in all the systems I tested them in. Thermals were all reasonably within check and no external heat sink was really needed. And I didn't have any issues with either of these drives. So that's a great size. Even though it's a sample size of one, it is good that both were working as expected. Now let's talk performance. So I used some FIO scripts to run some tests on all these drives. And the Samsung drive is faster in basically every use case, depending on exactly how, what case, probably about 30% in the synthetic tests. So this drive, the Samsung could read at about 3.4 gigabytes per second versus about 2.5 on the move speed. All the random IO was faster with lower latencies. The sustained write speed was quite a bit better. It was just an overall better drive. I'm gonna have some graphs on the screen now that kind of show what the performance difference was. For a point of reference though, both of these drives were significantly faster than a SATA SSD, and they were perfectly fine being a Windows boot drive, so I don't see that there was any issues really with either of these drives as for normal use. Projected reliability is another thing to look at and think about, and the problem is I don't have any good sample size and can't find anyone else who does to talk about that. In general, Samsung is known for being kind of the best when it comes to reliability of their drives, but unfortunately, there's no way to test it on this specific model as things can vary between model. I'd say normally low-end or no-name brands have worse reliability, but the same thing, it depends on exact model. If I had to put my money on it, I'd say the Samsung would be more likely to last longer, but I can't have any way to prove that assumption. So if I was building a system and had to put one of these drives in it, which one would I pick? I'd probably pick the Samsung or another OEM drive almost all of the time. I've had much better luck personally with reliability of these OEM drives from eBay. Actually, I've yet to have any fail in probably the over 10 that I've bought in the last few years where I have had some low-end drives fail that I've bought new. Um, the performance is better, which I'd say is nice. You might as well. And both of them worked fine without an issue, but I'd go with the OEM drive if it was my choice. Let me know if you have thoughts about which one you'd pick below. And if you want me to take a look at any other drive comparisons, I can kind of go get some and see what you want.